Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to YouTube and welcome to OC Trivia Live on YouTube. My name is Jimmy Larama. We're going to play a free team trivia game right now. Real quick, here's how you play. Get some paper and a pen, list 1 through 10 on that page. You can go get it right now as I explain the rest of the rules if you want. Watch the video to play the trivia quiz and pause the video if you need more time to think about the answer. I only give 10 seconds in between each question. So if you need an extra 15 to 30 seconds, you can pause it, but do not cheat. Use your brain, not the internet, okay? 10 points for each correct answer. When you're done with the quiz, you can post your score in the comments below. And also, it's fun to play a complete game, which is where you string four to six of these video quizzes together to complete a game. So you could start with general knowledge, then do a picture round, a history round, and wrap it up with a general knowledge final round. This is just a regular general knowledge round, so let's get started. Here is question number one. A gaggle represents a flock of which birds? We're going to move on to question number two. Here is number two. Logophobia is having a fear of what? Words, logos, logs, or gophers? Let's do question number three, general knowledge. Which U.S. state is also known as the Peach State? Let's do question number four. The Italian word spalla represents which body part? The wrist, arm, elbow, or shoulder? Let's go on to question number five. Tell me which actor plays Medea in the Medea film franchise, name the actor. Here comes question six, you guys, and this is going to be a regular trivia question with a bonus 10, which is a much harder trivia question attached to it. Therefore, there's two answers, write them both on line six. Which famous cartoon character officially debuted in the cartoon Steamboat Willie? And your bonus 10, in what year was this cartoon released? And we'll give you a hint, it was in the 1920s. Good luck. Remember, you can pause the video if you want a little more time to think about it, but we're moving on right now to question number seven. Loring, Clingstone, and Gala are all types of which fruit? Moving on to number eight. This is question eight, general knowledge. What is the name of the coffee shop hangout in the sitcom Friends. How about question number nine? Here it comes. Grand Teton Mountain is located in which U.S. state? Grand Teton. Here comes our final question of this round. It is number 10, and it's which brewery from Pottsville, Pennsylvania was voted number one by the Brewers Association for 2017? You can pause the video if you want to talk about it a little longer with your teammates. Otherwise, here come the answers to this round. Question number one was, a gaggle represents a flock of which birds? A flock of 
a gaggle of geese. That's right. They look like this. It's kind of scary, actually. Number two, logophobia is having a fear of what? Words, logos, logs, or gophers? Words. That's right. Logophobia is a fear of words. Number three, which U.S. state is also known as the peach state? You probably got this one as Georgia. Georgia peach. That's right. Number four, this one is the Italian word spalla represents which body part? The wrist, arm, elbow, or shoulder? Spalla means shoulder in Italian. Number five, which actor plays Medea in the Medea film franchise? That would be Tyler Perry. Look out. Here he comes. Ah! <laughs> Here's number six with your bonus 10. Which famous cartoon character officially debuted in the cartoon Steamboat Willie? That would be Mickey Mouse. And your bonus 10, in what year was this cartoon released? It was 1928. That's right. This, back in 1928, was pretty incredible animation. Moving on to number seven. Loring, Clingstone, and Gala are all types of which fruit? I probably tricked you on this one because it's not apples. There are no Loring or Clingstone apples. These are different types of peaches. Number eight. What is the name of the coffee shop hangout in the sitcom Friends? If you remember correctly, it's Central Perk. That's right. Used to be a bar, turned into a coffee shop. Here's number nine. Grand Teton Mountain and the Grand Tetons mostly is located in which U.S. state? You can find them in Wyoming, big Wyoming. Number 10, which brewery from Pottsville, Pennsylvania was voted number one by the Brewers Association? You really have to be a beer lover to get this one correct. The answer is D.G. Yungling and Son Incorporated. Yungling. Did I say that right? Probably not, but it's okay. Here is what we're going to do now. We're going to tally up our scores. You give yourself 10 points for each correct answer, and there's a potential to earn 110 points in this round. Post your score in the comments below. Do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to get some subscribers here going so we can keep these videos going. Test your friends. Send this link to your friends and make them take the, t the quiz. Thanks for playing, and for more information, visit octrivia.com. That's octrivia.com.